Alright, what's going on YouTube? It's Donnie B all day. It's a special day. A special day. I'm answering another request. A request by a lot of people to bring you the cold steel dropped forged survivalist. Whoa, whoa. So I've been um, waiting to do this knife. It's been sitting around. I've been putting other things in front of it. And today's the day. Today's a day. We get to put this thing to the work. So looking at the box, we see that um, the blade length is eight inches. The overall length is 13 inches. The steel is one of my favorites, uh, 52 100 high carbon. Uh, it is 15 and a half ounces. It is six millimeters thick with a five inch handle with inserts. So let's check it out. Let's do it together. So now it does have a retention strap and that's only because of the flappy um, area of nylon, which I've never been a fan of that. This one thing, the whole sheath, great. Secure X sheath does wonderful. It's not falling out of there. It really doesn't need the strap if it had a stiffer nylon belt loop, but it is what it is. Um, this thing is made to attach to gear. You can wear it from a belt and it, you know, the, the whole flappy thing, as soon as you, um, as soon as you snap it, hanging it from a belt, there's no more flap, right? Boop. So literally your leg is going to be here. It's going to stop a lot of flapping anyway, but this is going to happen, right? Because it's soft. This area, this area right here is soft, but oh, oh. so, um, lashing points and strap on point, <laughs> strap, strap to things points. Um, Leg, uh, leg strap points, just got everything. You want to throw ferro rods and strikers and all that kind of stuff on there. You got plenty of space to do all that. I don't know what you're waiting for. Whew, let's get into it. So, oh, did you hear that? That was beautiful. Oh, speaking of beautiful, my goodness. My freaking goodness is that beautiful all one solid piece of 52 100 oh my gosh i just absolutely love that so um i brought you some of their different drop force pieces already and every single one of them has been a success the um the drop forge survivalist the small one that i brought you holy crap that thing is amazing um, and the, uh, the wasp, whew, that was fun. Um, but this is a different animal. This is a different animal. It's just, well, it's big and I like big blades. I like big blades and I do not care. Um, so what we, what we're looking at is a, um, is a swedged, but not sharpened, um, uh, blade tip. Right. And what that does is just, whew, helps out with penetration. The edge, ooh, let's see. Let's see, I got people texting me about going to work out. Wow, let's try and collect some of those without knocking them all down. Oh my gosh, talk about shave sharp. Out the box. So, um, yeah, that was, uh, there, I didn't even have to push hard. There was no grinding. There was none of that <laughs> sound. Um, that was straight up shave sharp. Whew. That's better than Shannon Sharp right there. That is nice. You non-football fans have no idea what that means. So it is lanyard hole. You do have scales that you can take on, take off. Um, they are textured and they feel great. Um, they're not overly done. They're not underly done. It just gives a really positive traction between the fingers and the palm. You can feel it very well. It's contoured evenly on both sides. So left-handed, right-handed, ta-da, no issue. You do have this little, um, this little swell here, this cutout, which gives you a great, almost like a pinky choil. And then your hand guard will keep you from having any slippage onto that oh, razor sharp blade. Um, we need to take this outside and swing away because I have high hopes for this guy right here. Holy 
a moly. Whoa. Let's go out. Let's go out. All right, so we're going to take a walk to the old stump. And I have to say, just getting it outside and feeling the, the um, temperature change from inside to outside, uh, it does nothing um, to, uh, to take away from the grip being colder out here than it was inside. Um, the grip still feels just fantastic. Um, we're going to take some dial-on cord, and we're going to do, oh my god, probably one of the easiest push cuts you'll ever see. Wow, that's got some bite. Oh, yeah. Oh. So I had that thing buried in there. No tip bending, nothing like that. Do a couple of um, four foot drops and we'll see how the balance is. And it looks like it's going to be a very, very well balanced knife. As it is, a couple of hard downward drops and we'll see if A, any tip damage occurs, which it won't, and B, if these screws loosen up, which if they do, you tighten them. Wow. Wow, that thing buries itself. So you see this little mark right here? It buried itself into there. Oh my goodness. Oh, let's see, twist it. No blade bending, nothing. Oh my God, that thing is in there. Holy mackerel. Some hard vacuum cleaner hose. Let's cut that in half. Oh my goodness. I just cut the whole thing. So um, what we need to do is we need to do a little batoning. We're gonna do some uh, some chopping today out where we're gonna actually give it some good chopping. But first, I really wanna hit this thing because I have a lot of faith in this blade. I mean, a lot of faith in this blade. Um, just everything about it screams to me I am going to work for you. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, man. That is smooth. That is smooth, baby. That is smooth, baby. Oh, man. Smooth, baby. Let's see. Oh, I'm losing them all, but. Ooh -wee. Oh, my goodness. Um, a lot of them are just flaking off here, so. But you get the gist. You get the gist. Let's go with the side grip. Do some pulls. Oh, some nice skinny minis there. Oh, man. Oh man, this edge profile is immaculately done. I mean, wow. 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 This is beautiful. Beautiful. Whoa. Man, I'll tell you. This is going to make one hell of a camp knife. Wow, this is going to make one hell of a camp knife. Beautiful. Let's see. Oh my God, that buried in there. It literally, look at how much it's burying. That's flat. Lifting up the stump, that's flat. You got to be kidding me. Oh, this thing is so far it's just awesome. Um, I want to just keep playing with stuff. You know what? Screw it. Let's just go straight out. Let's just go straight out to the woods. Find us stuff. Now, you might think I sound different today. Um, I got people sleeping upstairs. And uh, they tell me all the time that when I come out here in the morning, uh, they can hear me. So... I'm trying to be a little gentle. That's why inside I was kind of at a whisper. Outside, kind of at a whisper. But when it comes to being loud, even if my voice is not being loud, my knife is. So um, let's take down some one-inch forest trees real quick. What do you say? What do you say? 
What do you say? All right, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Hopefully you guys will be in there. All this stuff is in there. Oh, man. Man, that thing was getting me. Wow. All right, so I got some big ones here. So that's what I'm going to work on. So I got this one first. Let's get this one out of the way. Wow. That was a miss hit. And it was beautiful. Look at this. Tell me. That looks like like something you see in space. That's a nebula. I don't know what a nebula is. All right, so let's see. Cucumber salad test. Blade so fine it can get to the green without getting to the white. Trying to do it at an angle so you guys can see. Man, man. Man, at this angle will be better. Look at that. All green. And what I'm telling you, all green and no white. Watch. If I go just a little bit harder, there's the white. So the edge has to be sharp enough to get just the green and not the white. Look at that. Look at that. Even a little faster. I can still control this edge profile from going too deep. Look at this. Look at this. Tell me, tell me how fine that is, man. Whew. Whew. Dog, I love it. I love it. We could sit out. Oh, gosh. That's a nice thick piece right there. But what we need to do is we need to go hit something a little meatier, right? Maybe I can start to talk normal now that I'm getting out into the woods. You know, take a little walk. See all these trees that are down right here? This is when I did that big buoy challenge and I was taking out all those giant buoys and just absolutely took down all these little trees. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one of the trees that's already downed and we're going to work on that. Nice big fat piece right here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wow, 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 wow. Oh my gosh. That is so impressive. That is so, so impressive. Oh my gosh, hey, a nice vine. Let's see, oh hey, sorry vine. All right, so I see something over here in the woods. We're gonna track down to it. Now, here's one thing, wearing a ring and hitting on the end is steel on steel, so it will pinch your finger. So keep that in mind if you're wearing rings. So now I noticed way back here in the woods, I saw some car stuff. So there's an old car seat. So I figure why not use that to our advantage, right? It's a leather car seat. Oh man. And it's got like uh, metal in the back. It's pretty tough. But what I want to do is we see the penetration. Let's do a downward slice. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I think you guys can see that. It's just all the way. Oh yeah. More like pleather, I guess. So here's a car part. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if we can drop it. Let's see if we can do a little damage to this car part. I don't even know what it is, but what I can tell you is it's very thick, very hard. Don't do this at home. Not if you plan on keeping your knife forever. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see. Ooh, doggy. Ooh, doggy vines. All right, let's get rid of those. Let's see, let's see what else is out here. Oh, let's see, we got super lubricant. Let's see, I gotta hold it and then drop it at the same time. All right, so this metal can just took a nice slice right there. I wonder, let's see if we can do this now. Easy money. 
Now let's look at all that crazy damage this blade took. Oh wait, the coating's even still on it. Look at that. Look at that. Stabbing through steel, cutting through all this crap. Here comes oh, a hose with um, metal. That's a metal hose. No problem. No problem. Metal hose. No problem. Got the little spring in there. Oh man, it's just going boing, boing, boing. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Oh, one more. Oh, cutting straight through the metal. One more. One more piece, it'll be free. One more piece, and it's free. So cutting through a metal spring, no problem. Cutting through big plastic parts, no problem. Ugh. Here's a whole bunch of wiring, right? Here's a light bulb, all this is wiring. Oh my gosh. Oh. There we go. There we go. Here we go. There's a different kind of testing for you guys right here. Not every day you get some guy out there cutting wires with his brand new edge. Just to show you he can. This thing is a beast. This is a beast. I want to hit a, uh, a thicker a thicker piece. Oh, I see something. I see something. Guys, this is, uh, we got so much room out here to play. So, uh, we got this down tree right here. Let's see. That's hardwood right there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Hope I got you guys in this thing. It's just dangling all over the place. But look at it chop. Look at it chop. No problem. Am I getting you guys in the shot? Am I even getting you guys in this shot? Let's see. I think that's good. So you can see this is where I've been hitting. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. You hear the sound. I mean, you could just tell how solid that wood is. Wow. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. And think about it. This tree is doing this, right? Every time you hit, that reduces the amount of impact that you're getting. And still, it's chopping through. Hear it going. I can see it going. Let's see. Let's see. All oh, that beauty. I mean, cutting through wires, cutting through metal springs, cutting through trees, cutting through rope, cutting through plastic, cutting through hard rubber. So far, so good. Found a golf ball. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> I missed. Oh, I got that one. I got that one. My tree. Try and see if I can leave a mark in this, but I think I just nicked it. Oh, it's difficult. Oh my gosh. Swinging after leaving your hand. There we go. It's pretty hard. And I keep skinning it. But if you know, golf balls have pretty hard covers. They're made to be smashed by steel all day long. Wow. That put a nice little, uh, nice little texturing damage on it. <laughs> so, taking this golf ball 
and hitting it a bunch of times, you'd think that eventually that edge isn't going to look too good. This edge is perfect. This edge is perfect. Just perfect. Gosh. Beautiful. Beautiful. No matter what you do to it, it just keeps on going. Wow, look at that. That's a dangling vine. Look how smooth that cut is. Woo wee. All right. So let's cut back through the woods and get to our destination. Okay, I found our destination. I found our destination. Let's see. Let's see if we can get you guys some clear view of our destination here. Let's go first throw. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I missed. I missed. Let's not try to do that again. This time let's hit it. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. I should have picked something. I don't have to walk over stuff. Now you're hearing the toy noing noing noing. All that is is the inserts. Let's try this. Let's try this. Oh, it's so there. <laughs> so the knife is so well balanced that it should throw pretty easy. I'm just missing. Oh, that was there. Okay. All right. This is going to make for some good video. Some bunch of misses and climbing over things. All that jazz. There it is. <sighs> Took a second. Took a second. But, ugh. That's good. It's good to miss every now and then. Not a, obviously, I'm not missing on purpose. But it's good to miss because if you're going to smash a blade and break it in half it's going to be by throwing it sideways into a tree and you heard the toing 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 literally that was just the vibration of the handle scales you look at this thing there is no fault in this knife none it is freaking awesome let's get out of the woods now actually why not just pause right here why not maybe maybe Maybe, maybe not, maybe not. I would love to just put it up there and film it, but I guess I'm gonna end up holding it. I guess I'm gonna hold it because I'm a huge failure. So here it is, Drop Forged Survivalist from Cold Steel. Holy mackerel. This thing was really, really nice, really, really cool it gets the freaking job done and it's awesome it's strong it's a beast it's a badass it's everything you would want your camp or hunting knife to be it's everything you would want a self-defense weapon to be strong sharp sleek durable easy to deploy everything about this knife is just freaking right I love it. Been waiting to get this one to you guys. It's finally here. It's finally done. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. Um, totally stoked. Totally stoked about the performance of this knife. It's everything I thought it would be, hoped it would be, wished it would be. Um, and now it's everything I proved it is. Uh, just a great knife. Great, great knife. Another, you know, home run for cold steel. Uh, that's it guys. That's it. I'm going to go just absolutely enjoy this thing. Y'all have a great day. I'm Donnie B all day until next knife.